I was with my friends Anakis and today doing a review for Mythic Legions Deluxe Dark Templar Legion Builder. Let's see, you got the front on the front of the box is nice packaging. Mythic Legions logo on the side, other on the front. Head sculpts and the name on that side. Star. That beautiful artwork on the back and the bio. Excuse me for yawning. But, uh, I got him a few weeks ago from the 2021 Legion Builder Wave that I pre ordered. Uh, a few episodes back into the Skeleton Legion Builder. I'll try to put the description, the link to that in the description down below. But for the Myth Legions, I collect the Knights, the Skeletons, and a few other random ones. So I really had to get this one. I thought I had two of him, but the two barbarians, which are right there. I'll do that at some point. Uh, but we're doing him today, so let's go ahead and get him out of the box and check him out. And welcome to Ionicus Toy Reviews. And so here we have the Dark Templar Knight out of the box. And he looks really good in the black and the grays. The cross on the front. These uh, horns on the helmet. Detail on the helmet is really nice. And the armor on the arms and the gauntlet. The belt and the shin, shin guards? I'm not, whatever this is called. Legs, boots. This great detail on them. Its back is flat for the plugs for like wings or shoulder pauldrons or other accessories. Very menacing looking. Great details. This looks like I got a little bit of smudges on here. But you know, they give us good detail to, uh, like, wear on the armor. Like, he's been, you might not just be walking around just being, ho, oh, oh, ho, I'm a Dark Templar Knight, blah, 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 blah. You might have actually gotten to somebody's face real quick. But articulation-wise, it's pretty basic. The head can rotate 360 due to the ball joint. And you go down. Fire can go up a little bit. And the joint there that actually can move in the neck. And that's pretty good. Can do a T pose if he wants. That's good. I would kind of wish he would start doing butterfly joints in some of these. Or like. Like. Right, this is, I don't know, what do you call it? Um. Upper arm swivel. That would be great, but you know what? It's fine because there's a bend and swivel in the forearms and in the gauntlet. See that? And the hand's got a rocker in it and they can rotate all over the place. The ball joint in the waist. Legs can go up that far. And go back. They can swivel there at the upper thigh. Bend and swivel at the knee. No, no swivel at the knee. No swivel at the knee. No, oh, wrong side of the joint. It's right there at the boot cut. It's like right under here. And feet can go all over the place and these horns are removable but it just looks kind of odd you know a big ass hole inside of his head so those can just stay right on there
I might try to pull out one of my other knights and see how the, the dark helmet looks on these guys, this guy later on. So definitely check out my Instagram channel or Instagram page, Ionicus Toy Reviews. Or if you're not already a member, go on Facebook and look up the Mythic Legions groups and I might be on there. But he did come with a good handful of accessories. Came with these shoulder pauldrons, which I will attach here. this giant staff got nice details in the bladed section came with one of these which I don't like how this works because sword and sheath it's got a clip right there but where's it supposed to go on there and here it doesn't hold very well and kind of falls right out oh whatever there's a sword looks pretty basic but fine because he's a uh, a legion builder, he's one of many. Let's see if I get that. It doesn't look bad. And he comes with this black and silver shield. Looks like the mold that we, we I think we've seen this mold for a shield before. Probably several times. It's really nice. But that's all, that is all his his accessories, and he is a six inch figure. And uh, the head is removable. It's on a ball joint, so you can replace it with like skeleton heads or vampire heads I replaced it with a skeleton head at one point and posted pictures on my Facebook group uh, the Mythic Legions group that I'm a part of and I'll be posting on my Instagram channel so you can definitely check that out there as I'll probably do more pictures of him as the days go uh I give him a 9 out of 10. I wish they would have done the horns a little better. Uh, I wish they would have had some place to put this on him that didn't include one of these, whatever. Uh, I would have liked to have maybe seen an alternate helmeted head sculpt. But that, that right there is all on me. It's a great figure. If you find them cheap enough, go ahead and get them. Uh, off the top of my head, I can't remember how much I paid for him. Whatever I paid for the Skeleton Legion Builder, which I reviewed a few weeks back. What I paid for him. Uh, so I just hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, if you do like it, give me a thumbs up down below, even if you don't like it. Let me know down below. Like, share, subscribe, whack that bell for notifications. And just remember to keep hitting those toy aisles. I'll see you guys next time. Later.